Hello. How are you guys doing? I hope you're well. I am just doing a test um, to see if this is live. Because this is my first time actually to pre um, schedule. It is live. It is live. <laughs> it is live. Okay, good, good. So let's go ahead. Um, hello, how is everyone doing? I hope you're well. So I'm glad to see that this is live. It's my first time to like pre, you know, create the broadcast and not use it. So this is nice to see that you can do that. And then when you're ready, you just go live. I know it sounds like common sense, isn't it? It sounds like I should know that that's how it works. You can pre-record these things. I mean, pre-create the broadcast. Um, but yeah, I needed to be sure, very, very sure. So this is the sixth day of the live. I mean, if you've been watching from day one, then thank you so much for watching. And um, this is the sixth day. So we've got tomorrow as the final day of the live, um, which is the commitment I made to do. Um, I think it's a live stream, a video, um, basically doing some kind of video on your Facebook profile one day, once every day for the week. So I have done that. Yesterday was a very crazy day because um, I was so tired. It's been a very busy, active week, launching you know, the program I mentioned to you previously. So launching the program and so other things in the background, I seem to be launching so many things at the same time this period. And the reason is I want I want to get them all out of the way before Q4. If you have been listening to all the live stream, you will hear me mention Q4, getting ready for Q4. That's where the magic happens. That's where the money is. Um, a lot of the money is, you know, depends on what you sell. So if you sell um, gardening, for instance, you know, so the summer season might be the time where your money is. So we're going to be talking about how you can add an extra 10, 20K to whatever sales that you are achieving. Or maybe you haven't even started selling at all, how you can achieve 10K, okay, in the month. So if you don't know me, and this is the first time seeing me live, my name is Sida Acheru, plus Sida Acheru for full, and Sida for short form, just to make life easy for people who can pronounce plus Sida. So it's Sida Acheru. And um, I'm an accidental Amazon seller. So business coach by, by profession, I've been a business coach for a very long time, way, way before I became a teen. Um, and then I remember when, when you say I'm a coach and you have to explain to people what coaching was and you had to educate them. Then you had to take them online and show them what it is online so that they can be clear and they understand what coaching is. That's when I became a coach. <laughs> That's when I became a coach, you know. So I've been in this space for a very, very long time and um, took a break, took a break. Sometimes you need to take a break from your work, from your business. So I took a break. And while I was supposed to be resting, I was supposed to be resting, I found Amazon. And Amazon literally took over my life. <laughs> It took over my life in a good way. It took over my life. Um, is the one business I would say that stretched me, stretched me and made me grow. I have been doing business from when I was 18. And Amazon is the one business that stretched me, like really helped me transform the way I look at business, the way I handle and manage my money. Um, the way I structure every single thing in my business. Amazon is the one business that pushed me and stretched me and made me a much better business owner. And so that's why I'm passionate, you know, to talk about Amazon and trying to encourage people to come in 
Because when you do it and you do it and you get it right, you will enjoy it. You will enjoy it. You know, it's a business that when you do it right and you create it and you create all the systems and put everything in place, you can hand over that system you've created to someone else to manage it and you keep reaping the reward. I know there's so many stories out there about Amazon. You know, the impression is that it's a get rich quick thing. You just go, you buy, you sell, you make the profit, buy, you sell, you make the profit. True. But if you want to grow a sustainable business, I would say don't do it that way. Don't do it that way. There are so many teachers out there and, you know, don't go for that get rich quick system. Build a sustainable business. Get to understand how it works and then build it properly like a proper business and you will enjoy it. You will hit your financial goals. You would enjoy the process. But when you're doing Amazon as though I need to make one million now, 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 like yesterday, 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 then the stress and the hassle and the pressure and the borrowing and loans and debts and, ooh, it gets too much. And then the bottom line is a lot of people pack up. They can't, they can't do it. It's just too much. It's just too much. But if you start Amazon slowly, gradually, understanding the business, putting the systems in place, then you'll find that you will build a sustainable business that will help you develop and grow other businesses that you decide to build successfully. You will begin to think differently the way you manage your businesses, how you manage. You begin to see things differently. In summary, you will become a successful business owner. That's what you become. You become someone that is going to be called a successful business owner because your mindset shifts when you start doing Amazon properly. Your mindset shifts. Anyway, so today I want to welcome everyone who's watching for the first time. You've got to know me. You're probably watching on my new channel. So I've just launched a new channel and this is the first live going on that channel right now. So you might be watching on the new channel. You might be watching on my main business channel, Placida Chero's channel. And you probably are watching on my profile on Facebook. So wherever you're watching from, if you can just put in the comment of wherever you're watching from and just say where you're watching, you know, to say I'm watching from Facebook, I'm watching from YouTube, I'm watching, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, there are two channels, it's going live right now on YouTube, two channels. So just say where you're watching from and also let me know, are you an Amazon seller? So if you've been selling on Amazon, let me know. I've been at Amazon seller. I've been doing Amazon for one year, two years, three years. I'm a veteran. I've been doing it for like oops, many years. I know it's back and front. Um, whatever the situation is, just say, you know, what you've been doing. If you have no clue about Amazon and you're saying, who is this lady talking about Amazon and talking about making money on Amazon, adding 10K, 20K to your sales on Amazon? Who is she? Just say, I don't know about Amazon. I'm interested about learning. I would like to know some more. So just put that comment wherever it is you're watching, whether you're watching on my main channel on YouTube or you're watching on the brand new channel. This is the very first video going live on that channel. Um, and if you're watching on my Facebook profile, see the Achero profile, whatever it is, do let me know. Uh, it's very possibly, but I did not share it. There's something that's been happening on my profile where when I'm doing a live stream, it just um, shares automatically into the Facebook group. So you might also be watching it in the Facebook group, which is the Amazon Women Entrepreneurs Group. So it's a group that we've created for women who sell on Amazon. We love the guys. We love the guys. But we just want women to have a space where we can handhold each other and help each other grow. 
So this video might also be showing live in that group. I'm not sure if it is, just say yes, I'm watching it from that group, okay? Um, so thank you very much for watching. I put myself on a challenge, or no, not I put myself on a challenge. Um, I'm in a group where, you know, you get to do a challenge, and so I made a statement. So I basically put myself, I made a statement. I was going to do one video every day um, for seven days. And the video could be a video. It could be a live stream. But the most important thing that it goes on your profile every day for seven days. And this is the sixth day. And I can't believe it's six days already. But this is the sixth day. And I'm happy to be, you know, sharing with you again on the sixth day. So how do you add 10,000 or 20,000 or 5,000 or even an extra 3,000? How do you add that to your Amazon sales if you're already selling on Amazon? So I said I was going to be sharing something that's really simple. And I think it's the simplest way to do it is to go into Amazon and look at what other sellers are, are selling already. So I'm taking it that if you're already selling on Amazon, you know about tools like Keeper and Helium 10, you know about those tools. Now, you may not be able to use those tools successfully. Maybe you haven't studied it, you don't know exactly how to do it, use it the best way, but you do know if a listing, you should know by now, if you're selling on Amazon, if a listing, which is where the product is hosted, so you've got a page and you have a product, so maybe the product might be this mouse and there's a page to buy it. So that's what is called a listing. So you should know if you're selling on Amazon, if a listing and that product is doing well. And you should know if that product or, you know, or that listing, how frequent the sale is. Is it doing 10 sales a month, 20 sales a month, 30 sales, up to 100, 200 sales? You should know that by now if you're selling on Amazon. If you're not selling on Amazon, never sold on Amazon, don't know what I'm talking about, then find yourself in, the, in our group. Find yourself in our group and let's help you get started, okay? So this information is for those who are selling on Amazon and they're thinking about how can I add an extra. So a simple, simple way is to do what is called reverse sourcing. You're basically going into Amazon and you're looking for products that are already doing well. These products are doing some crazy numbers on Amazon. And you can see that the profit margin, so it's not about how much sales or how many products they're selling a month. You also need to consider the profit. I'm all about profit. And yes, I would like to have that crazy number of sales, but if I'm not making any profit, then I'm not interested, okay? There's so many products out there that I can sell, and that's how my own mind operates. There are people who will sell anything for any profit or no profit, they will sell it just to have the account moving. I will only sell things that I know will give me a profit because I need to pay my bills. I need to pay my warehouse. I need to pay my staff. I've got team offline and online. I need to pay them. So I've got a lot of overhead and I cannot just afford not to be making enough money to cover all my bills and still have a business that is running successfully. So for you to be able to add that amount, any amount that you're desiring to your sales, the simplest way is to do reverse sourcing. Simplest, simplest way. Just go onto Amazon and look for products that are doing crazy well. And these products, you have to analyze it. So if you don't have a tool like BuyBot Pro, Keeper, Helium 10, it's something to consider. So these tools will tell you how much sales these products are making. And they'll be able to tell you how much profit these products are making. Now, the next step for you is that when you find these products, I'm taking that you already know how to use a spreadsheet, Google Sheets. Find these products and add these products into your Google Sheets or spreadsheet, whatever it is you're comfortable using. You're going to put the product name. You're going to put, of course, your source so you know where you found it, the listing link. Yeah. You're going to put the ASIN because you want to be able to find this product later while you're looking for it. So spend 
recommended. So people are always scared of sourcing. Sourcing is just a simple word for research. In every business, whether you're in the coaching business, you are an academic, whatever, you're a doctor, medical doctor, nurse, if you want to be excellent at what you do, you've got to spend time on research. You've got to spend time understanding the business and the work and the profession that you're at. If you don't spend time to know it, then then you're just not, I don't know, you're probably not happy doing it. Because if it's, you're passionate doing it and you're happy doing that profession, then you will spend time to research. For every single day, I take my time. I recently for a program and I've been signed up for that for maybe like two weeks. At the same time with myself, they're all taking action and taking action and taking action. But for me, I'm a total creator of the program, you know, and she may be watching. <laughs> you know, I told the creator of the program, I said, you know what? I am going through the content and I'm going through them again and again. I'm not in a hurry to take action until I've understood what action I should be taking. Do you understand? So there's, if you're going to sell on Amazon, you need to spend time sourcing, which is research. Spend time and understand the business. Spend time and understand how to find good products. The re reverse sourcing I'm saying to you, go now to Amazon, spend two hours, three hours. In my early days, I tell you, I'll be sat, I'll spend a whole day, eight hours stretch. It's almost like I'm in a, in a, a, a nine to five job and I will be sourcing. I will be going through listings and I will be basically trying to digest and make those listings mine, like to end it. You know? And then to make my list, I would have calculated how much money these listings are going to give me if I find the products. And then I go looking for the products. So the next question you're probably going to ask is, okay, how do I find the products when I find the list? We'll, we'll, take, we'll handle that in another video. For this video, which is a very short one, is the simplest way to increase and double your sales is to take time to understand the business, take time to understand how to source. And reverse sourcing is the simplest, 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 simplest way for you to find good profitable products. You go into Amazon, you find what's selling well in your category, and then make sure you have the calculations of, you know, you must have the tools. It's either you're using Bybot Pro, you're, that's what I'm using, or you're using Keeper, or you're, or you're using um, um, Helium 10. Be sure that you are using some kind of tool. And if you don't use a tool, then you must have mastered how to do it manually. Okay, if you don't use a tool that you must have mastered how to calculate and do it manually. But for me, if you've been watching all my lives, I like simplicity, I like my life easy. So if someone has created a tool that works and I know it works, I'm going to sign for it and I'm going to use it and save myself the stress. So make sure that you understand how to source and then just go into Amazon and start looking for these products, compile your list, total how much is going to make you at the end of the month, and you might just surprise yourself. So that's a simple, simple tool and advice I have for you today. It's a very short one. I'm not going to keep it very long. It's a very, very short. One is add 10, 20, 30K. You'll be surprised what gold mine you're going to find when you reverse source. You'll be surprised, surprised, surprised. Just make sure that you're compiling your list. You have the ASINs and you can go back. You know, if you have a VA, fantastic. But um, assuming that you're just at your beginning stage in your business, and if you are, then spend time to do the sourcing yourself. I have a sourcing VA, but I still do sourcing myself. You know, I enjoy it. I like finding things. You know, 
if I see a listener, I like to understand the mindset. And from one sort, from one product, you get to find other products. So you find one product and then you get to find other products. It's like a spiral, you know, ring thing. You, you just find one and other ones keep popping. And be sure to look at what Amazon is suggesting to you. Amazon will be suggesting other products to you. So be mindful of those ones. Don't think products that Amazon is suggesting to you below, you know, frequently bought products. Don't ignore those products. Those products are also equally important because Amazon is saying that customers who bought this bought that. So it's very important that you don't ignore those ones. But you need to spend time sourcing, which is your research, and you just do the reverse searching, sourcing. Find what somebody is doing, what other seller is doing that is doing really well. Compile your list. And if it's 10,000, 20,000 you're looking to achieve that month, compile your list. You might just surprise yourself. Thank you very much for watching. And I would love to invite you if, you if you're not a member of our group. It's a small growing group. It's Amazon Women Entrepreneurs Group on Facebook. And the whole purpose of growing that group is just to support women sellers. You know, come together, have conversations about Amazon, have conversations about products, you know, finding products, sourcing, tools to use, you know, um, what's the best route to go. There are different models selling on Amazon. You've got the OARA wholesale becoming a brand, private label. What's the best route to go? So if these are questions that you have in your mind, that's stopping you from starting and selling on Amazon, jump, you know, join us in Facebook group, you know, join us and um, we we'll see you and we'll help you. I'm there. And uh, yes, and there are other experts in the group. There are six figure, seven figure sellers in the group, you know, to help you answer your questions. So I look forward to seeing you and thank you very, very much for watching this very short live. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. God bless.